Hello and good morning. You're very welcome to the first in a series of Get Your Shirt On. It's so important in these unprecedented times that we show our love and commitment to the community game. And we know you're all desperately missing getting out and playing rugby. Well, today is the day that we hone and harness some of those skills. Today is all about getting your shirt on. And I'm going to ask only a few things of you. Number one, where's your shirt? If you haven't got your club shirt on, go and get it. I've got mine on. I'm a has-been trying to live in former glory days. The other thing you're going to need is a little bit of equipment. I've got a netball, I've also got a rugby ball, I've got a pair of socks, and I've got a bottle of water, mainly to keep myself hydrated, but can become a quite a handy tool in a little bit. Guys, we're going to be bringing this for the next three weeks. Make sure that you get involved. If it's your brother, your mother, your sister, roommates, whoever it is, get involved. But don't break any furniture. If we could just put a little disclaimer at the bottom of that, I am not responsible for anything that happens in your household. And the reason why we're doing it inside is one, because I'm a winger and I hate the cold and I know it's raining today. And two, it's very nice and comfy to be indoors. But before we get started with any of the rugby, any of the drills that we're gonna be doing, we've gotta get warm. I'm already warm, just from feeding you all that energy. The first thing we're gonna do, it's gonna be two minutes this next bit and I need your full attention and commitment to this. Number one, it's on the spot. We know what on the spot is. Getting your knees up like this. Oh my gosh, tripped over that rugby ball. Keeping your knees up like this. We're going to do this for two minutes. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to replicate a tackle. Imagine you're out at Twickenham. Eddie Jones is there. You've got the All Blacks. And you've got Ardi Surveyor or Rico Ioane running at you. One thing you want to do is make a good tackle. The number, seven, the number two thing you want to do is get yourself back up in the line. So what we're going to do is hit the deck. Boom. That was good. I think I've broken my back, but it's fine. Okay, so we keep running the spot. So when I shout tackle, I want you to hit the floor. So tackle! Perfect. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, if I shout chase, imagine you're being chased down, you've run a, you've caught the ball and intercept. Just say you're in South Africa in 2009 and you catch a ball from 70 yards out. No one's catching you, but they're chasing you. So you've got to put your foot down. So when I shout chase, I want you to really, just get as many connect and many connect to the floor as you can without actually like passing out like what I'm about to do. So when I shout chase, I want you to go really hard for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, chase. Here we go. That's five seconds. That's about 10 seconds. Okay, the fourth command I'm gonna give you is tag. We've all played tag, we all love tag, okay? So you've got to replicate tagging someone, okay? So by tagging someone, what we're gonna do is, simple as that, step to the left, step to the right, and tagging. We've got 30 seconds on this. Hopefully you guys are getting warmed up. You can probably see the beads of sweat on my forehead. So we're gonna go tag. Okay, right, now it's my turn to take a breath and it's your turn to work. Tackle! Bang! That's what I wanna see, tackle! Get down, get up. Eddie Jones is watching. We don't want lazy defenders. Chase, give me 10 seconds on the spot. Moving your arms and your legs as fast as you can. Making sure you can get as many connects to the floor as possible. High knees up, if you can manage with that. Okay, next 10 seconds. I want you to tag to the right, to the left. To the right, to the left. I should be on Strictly. I don't know why I've never done this. How about that? What do you give me for that? 10 seconds? Give me a 10 out of 10. Okay, tackle. Hit the deck, get back up to your feet. Tackle. Okay, now running on the spot. Haven't got long on this section left. 20 seconds of this two minutes. Told you it's gonna be high intensity, high energy, but it's gonna prepare you for the rest of the session. Okay, Chase, give me 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant work. Okay, last 10 seconds of tag, go. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. There we are, making those tags. Okay, bang, there we are. That's the first two minutes done. How are you all feeling? You feeling good? Do you want a drink of water? Grab yourself a drink of water. When I said that you need your club shirt, that's just because we want you guys to represent. If at any point you get really hot, just whip it off, it's fine. You're at home, it's cool, I don't mind. I'm not taking mine off though, that's for sure. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is sidestepping. 30 seconds of sidestepping for your bigger guys, your second rows and your front row forwards. 
really important to have that mobility. So making sure that you're keeping yourself in those really cool positions. Of every step, I want you to plant. You should get your glute really fired up through that. Solid plant, pushing off, transferring that weight onto your left. And we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. So it should look something like this to that, okay? So in three, two, one, go. Side step. Someone's gonna tell me that's a terrible side step, but my game was about running fast in a straight line, not to the side. So when you think about side stepping, think about Jason Robinson, someone like him, someone that could do that. In fact, on England Rugby's Twitter page, they actually shared his brilliant try, or not try from him, it was Will Greenwood, but it was against Wales in the World Cup in 2003 when they went on to win that World Cup. Three, two, one. Guys and girls, I'm absolutely loving the effort so far. We've had two and a half minutes of our warm up, high intensity, loads of energy, all with your community club shirts on. Absolutely loving it. So take 30 seconds rest, and then we're gonna get into the next bit of it. I'm gonna have a quick swig of this. And don't forget the whole time, I don't want you to go and sit down, cross your legs. I want you to stay on your feet, even if you're just having a little march, just making sure you're keeping that blood circulating. You're keeping the heart rates up high, not too high, but we're just keeping it at a decent pace. Whilst you're resting, I'm gonna explain the next segment of this. Going into a line out, something that I've never been a part of, but do you know what? It's a brilliant art form. Look at the likes of the Exeter Chiefs and the Gallagher Premiership, but also look at some of the champions that we have. Johnny Hill, who got his debut just last week in Italy when England won the Grand Slam and the King himself, Maritoja. So to replicate a line out and for the usage of keeping ourselves warm, I want you to leap really high and just, actually don't do that, because I said I'm not responsible for anything you break in your house, but I want you to get up onto your tiptoes or off the ground at least, just pretend that you're taking a ball up like that. So left hand one side, right hand the other side. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. You have plenty of rest, back up on your feet, getting primed in three, two, one. 30 seconds hard work, let's go. Here we go, bang. Reaching as high as you can. If you can't, if you're in a crowded space and you can't leap too high, just do little jumps. I still want to see that movement. So start from a squat position and just get your hands up. So we want to really extend that shoulders, extending your arms. We've had 20 seconds work now, 10 to go. Here we go. This is absolutely superb, guys. Give us another five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, take a break. Outstanding work. The next section, we're gonna have a little bit of fun because that's exactly what rugby is all about. The first day I got involved in rugby, I did it to make friends and to have fun. Hopefully you guys and girls are having fun at home. We're gonna have a little hybrid. Eddie Jones loves a hybrid. Nine forwards is talking about this week. To know what he's on about. Anyway, today we're gonna have a hybrid of keeping fit, keeping warm and using some animals to to actually, to try and replicate some of their movements. So a snake, if I said to you, snake, what position would you find yourself in? Would you get yourself on the floor like this? I don't know, I don't know. What were you gonna do? Or were you gonna do a little bit of this? It's a bit of the strictly hips coming out a little bit there. Kangaroo, that's another animal we're gonna use. Kangaroo, we know what they do, they can leap. So I want your hands, <laughs> yes, they laugh, in this position, and I want you to hop like a kangaroo. Not like the wallabies, they don't do this, but like a kangaroo. The next one's a gorilla. Think about some of our big front rowers. Talking your Harry Williams, your Mako Vunapolas, your Ellis Genges, your Joe Marlis. They're big and they're scary. You don't have to add sound effects. I am, I've got a microphone, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. When I shout gorilla, I want you to rah, get yourself into that position. A cheetah, more my kind of animal than a gorilla. So when you hear cheetah, I want you to run really fast. The fastest land animal in the world. That's a fact, Google it. I won't be wrong, but they're really quick. So I want you to act like a cheetah. The last thing I'm going to do is my favourite animal. It is, it's a turtle, but imagine a turtle that's been flipped over. We'll just take a rest, just take a break. We'll just take a break, okay? So anyway, we're going to start with a snake. So three, two, one. Whenever a snake is to you, I want you to do that. Three, two, one, let's work. Okay, that's me. Just wiggle those hips, there we go. Now a kangaroo, let's start hopping. There we go. 
you go, your friendly kangaroo, okay? Now we need to become a gorilla. We've got 15 seconds to go. Rawr. Here we are, stepping into it. Rawr. Okay, last 10 seconds. I want you to be a cheater. Okay, five, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant work. Okay, superb. We're going to finish with my final animal. The turtle. We're just going to take a time out. I'm knackered. I'm 37. What am I even doing? Retired. Don't even play the game. Anyway, right. Okay, where was I? Okay, you've had your rest. You've had your rest. The last bit of this, and I need your full attention and commitment for one minute. And then our warm up is done. You should be really energized. Give me a yell if you're super energized, if you're hot, if you're sweating, if you're having fun. I'm presuming that some of you people down that camera are actually shouting and having fun. And if your sister, your brother, your mums or your dads aren't getting involved, get them out of bed, get them off the sofa, put down the biscuits and the cup of tea and get fit as a family together. Get them to put their club shirts on as well. Okay, the next bit is two parts, a crab. So we're gonna do a crab crawl, which looks like this. Hands behind your back like that. What we want to do is get your hips up. I can't get my hips up. I had groin reconstruction and I'm 37. I'm battered, okay? But hips up, shoulder stability, and we want you to walk forward. Or we don't. We don't want you to walk forward. We want you to walk sideways because that's what crabs do, okay? Let it go from left to right. And so we're putting a lot of pressure through your shoulders. Do it safely with all of these exercises. Please go at your own pace. We don't want anyone to be hurt or injured. The next one is going to be a bear crawl. So we want same arm, sorry, opposite arm and leg going forward. So as you can see on this one, my left leg went forward, my right hand came down. So I'll show you that movement again. Bang! And bang. That's all we need to do. So we're gonna do some crab crawls and some bear walks. Okay. To make it easy, I'm gonna do 30 second crab, crab walks, 30 second bear walks or bear crawls. Apologies, I'm tired. Okay. Get yourself in a position, really strong, firm, hips up through the shoulders, and we're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. We're gonna work this for 30 seconds, work all the way back. Do as I say, not as I do. Get your hips up. I can't do this because I'm old, but I'm giving it a good go more than anything. As much as I'm gonna try and give you some technical tips, I just want to see you guys moving. That is it. That's what it should be about. Having a lot of fun. We've got five seconds on the crab walks. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now, straight into our bear crawls. Okay. Remember, opposite arm, opposite leg is going to be very difficult to do otherwise. Here we go. One, two. And then you can work your way back if you're advanced. I'm not advanced. So reset. Left foot up, right arm up, right leg, left arm. Okay, we've got another 10 seconds of these. Okay, I'm gonna go this side. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. And guys, that's how we get warm on a Sunday morning in your house with your club shirt on. Great work, great warm up. The next thing we're gonna do is a very simple thing. If you've got a ball at home, absolutely brilliant. And if you don't find anything that you've got in around you, don't drop it. Um, socks, socks are absolutely brilliant. What we're gonna do is a very simple task. It's all about hand-eye coordination and putting those skills under pressure. Something that Eddie Jones and Simon Middleton, the head coach of the Red Roses, always talks about. This one is just throwing the ball up or a pair of socks up getting a couple of claps in. All I'm going to tell you, just to make it a little bit more competitive, is uh, Katie Daly McLean and Owen Fowle had a go at this last week and they got 23 in 30 seconds. That's all I'm saying. Let's see if you can beat them. Let us know if you're from Teddington RFC, if you're from Erdington RFC, or all the way up north, Sale Rugby Club, let us know your scores. Hashtag get your shirt on Twitter, Instagram, and if you've got your mum, your dad, anyone there, film it. Send it in, tag at England Rugby on Instagram and they'll be sharing the best skills, okay? So now, 30 seconds, I wanna see how many you can do doing, starting in three, two, one, let's go. Really simple skill, just a couple of claps. And don't forget, don't chuck the ball up too high, a pair of socks up too high. You want it in relative eye line. 
it's always really good to talk about and think about your peripheral vision. So if, if you're getting really good at it, I want you to see if you can look forward without looking up, catching it, a couple of claps, I'm gonna drop that one, and making sure we came. We've got five seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant stuff. Okay, I'm sure all of you boys and girls under 10 who are here, here they're putting in the work on a Sunday morning whilst everyone else are acting, to be perfectly honest, like slugs. Get up and get fit. That's what it's all about. Brilliant stuff. Okay, if you've bossed that one, we're going to make it a little bit harder. We're going to see if you can chuck the ball up whilst, whilst you're hopping. How about that? I don't have any records for this, but I reckon someone like a Poppy Clill, she's brilliant at the handling work out there in the lineup. She's fantastic at this. Okay, so we're now gonna see how many of these you can do in 30 seconds. Hopefully you've got your, your breath back. So it's gonna be a simple one of those whilst hopping in three, two, one, go. The same principles apply. Remember, just to keep your eye on the ball, hands nice and soft, chucking it up in the air, you can Swap, go from your right leg to your left leg. How about that? Look at that. Really easy skills if you're getting really good at it. Once again, keep your eyes forward and just focusing on catching that ball really quick. Um, I always say, Rachel Burford actually told me this a long time ago and I'll never forget it. She said, the better you can catch, the better you can pass. Really simple, three, two, one, bang. 30 seconds is up. Excellent work, okay. I'm getting tired doing it. Hopefully you guys are tired, but more so than anything, really enjoying it. We're gonna break it down just a little bit. This is gonna be a bit more full body, an extension from what we're just doing there. The figure of it, everyone knows exactly how to do this. So we're not gonna, to, to make it a little bit more technical, what I will, I'm gonna come side on. I want you to get into a good squat position. So you wanna almost get into 90 degrees. Do as I say, not as I do. I can't get to 90 degrees, I'm old. Give us a break. Okay, and we want a wide, strong base here. And I just want you to circle in. But if you can see from my back, the whole time, my back is really flat and my chest is always up. I don't want to see you hunched over like this. Who does that? Who does that for anything, okay? So that's what I want you to really focus on because we don't want injuries. We just want you to have fun. 30 seconds, figure of eight. I'm going to do this one with you, okay? Three, oh, we'll do it with some socks. Actually, no, I'm going to do it. Oh, no, I'm going to do it with a netball. I'm going to do it with a netball, okay? I'm going to mix it up. Okay, go in. In three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna show you. It was a slow start, but I'm gathering momentum. Okay, we're 10 seconds now. We've got 20 to go. Remember, keep a flat back just like me here. 90 degrees, transferring that ball. Don't forget, if you can't hold it, just the one hand, making sure you're just taking the time. We just wanna uh, make your skills a lot better, but we're putting it under pressure. We've got three, we've got two, we've got one. It's easy as that. As you can see, in everything that we've done today from the warm up, it's gradually got a little bit quicker, a little bit harder. Today with the skills, we're working from a very simple skill and we're just making it a little bit harder. We want you to be creative with this now, okay? So if you've got any skills, you can make up. The game is an opportunity to represent and be creative. Show off all your skills. Oh, I'm a winger. I love showing off. I want you guys to show off. We want you to show off, but we also want you to share so any skills, if you can create some new challenges, because in the next couple of weeks, we've got some legendary players from the Red Roses and the England senior team who are gonna be joining you over the course of the next couple of Sundays. So film your skills, put a clock on it, and tag at England Rugby on Instagram, and they're gonna be sharing it. That's the next part of our skills section. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for your time, for your energy and your attention this morning. It's so important during these periods that we keep active. We know how important it is, not just for us, but for you guys as well. So it's great to see you all with your community club, community shirts on. We really value all of your support. If you've got any comments, if you've got any records, if you set records, broke records, created new games, leave them in the comment section below. Get on Twitter, get on Instagram, at England Rugby. Use the hashtag, get your shirt on, and let us know what you think. The next thing I'm gonna say is, if your mum, your dad, your parent or guardian, brother or sister did not get involved today, make sure they get involved next week because we're gonna have another England legend who's gonna be putting you through your paces on a lovely Sunday morning. The best thing, 
not weather affected. You're indoors in the comfort of your own home, but don't break up your home. Please don't do that. I don't want any letters. Don't tag me on Twitter. None of that at all, but it's been amazing to have your company. Make sure the next thing you do, you get some water in you. Do hydrate. Take a few minutes just to cool down, chill out. Don't go and grab a load of lollipops. Get something decent to eat. Sunday morning, get yourself a bacon sandwich, sausage sandwich, brown sauce, red sauce. I don't really care. Just get something good in you, okay? And make sure you hydrate. But uh, it's been a pleasure. Um, sorry, it's Eddie Jones. Hey, mate. Yeah, videos are good, weren't they? What? Penny Hill? Yeah. Ireland next week, is it? Okay. Yep. Yep. I'm going to have to go. That's Eddie Jones. Apparently I'm back, baby. We'll see you again very soon next week. Thank you so much. Take care. God bless. Goodbye.